Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we will talk about World Vegan Day. Here we will understand the difference between veganism and vegetarianism. In the end, we will also discuss airline meal codes. These are four letter standardized meal codes used in airline ticketing so that you do not order something that you do not eat that is not acceptable for you either religiously or health wise. So these codes are also asked in UGC NAT examination that is NTA NAT for tourism. So watch this video until the end. Let's begin. First of all, vegan and vegetarian. Both are the people who only consume plant-based foods. So in this diet, you will only find plant-based food products in a vegetarian or vegan diet. So both the diets focus on eating plant-based food. Here we have a checklist. We have cross for not eating, right for eating and question mark for maybe. Some of them may, some of them not. So here we have vegans and vegetarians. So both vegan and vegetarians are not consuming seafood, insects, meats, chicken, mutton. So they are not consuming them. Both vegan and vegetarian both are not consuming meats and seafood. But vegetarian is consuming dairy product. He is consuming honey. He is consuming gelatin. He is consuming alcohol. Some of them are even agitarians. They are consuming eggs also. We have agitarians in vegetarians. We have some who do not eat eggs also. So there's this is about vegetarians. They are consuming all products like dairy, all dairy products, eggs, honey, gelatin, alcohol that a vegan does not. A vegan is not consuming eggs. He is not consuming honey. He is not consuming gelatin. He is not consuming alcohol. Some of them consume some brands. Some believe that some of the brands are vegan, some not. However, in majority, they do not consume alcohol also. They do not consume dairy products also. They don't eat any cheese, any paneer. They will only have tofu that is soy milk based product and soy milk is not animal based milk that is soy based milk. Okay, And they will only eat the vegetables and fruits. They will not go for any eggs, honey, gelatin, alcohol and dairy products, dairy milk, milks and uh, cheese, paneer, etc. So that is the difference between vegan and vegetarian. Vegan, we have different philosophies of veganism, but one common thing in all vegans is that they avoid any animal food product, anything like in fishes, shellfish, insects. They avoid animal derived materials also, animal products like dairy, dairy products, we have milk, we have cheese, we have paneer, eggs, honey, they avoid everything. So animal products, animals, they avoid them. They even avoid the products tested on animals. So they do not use them also. They do not consume the products tested on animals. They do not go to the places that, the, that uses animals for entertainment. So they avoid anything that is based on animals. Basically, they are against animal cruelty. However, we have this the vegan society of United Kingdom. This is taken from their website. So you can see there are different options about going vegan, getting involved. So we have different vegan pledges here. We can learn about the philosophy of veganism from them. So this society was formed in the year 1944. So it was formed in 1940s and uh, 1st of November is celebrated for as a day of their formation. Even they observe whole month of November as World Vegan Month in which they spread awareness about the philosophy of veganism, how veganism, the lifestyle of veganism, the way of veganism, the veganism or vegan diet is ethical, how it is environment friendly, how it is contributing to the environment, the biodiversity, how it is animal friendly. Okay, as if we are vegan, if we are eating only plant based product, we put less pressure than eating animals and animal products. Products. We put pressure on land, we put pressure on environment, we put pressure on biodiversity when we consume animal based products and animals. That is the philosophy behind being vegan. 
that is the idea of veganism that we are putting less pressure on our environment we are environment friendly we are sustainable we are living a sustainable lifestyle so that is about the vegan society world vegan day world vegan month of november and the difference between vegan and vegetarian i hope you understand now coming to airline meal codes as i said these are four letter codes that are used in airline ticketing like we use airline codes two letter airline codes ch air china air american airways aaa air india ai we have different airport codes city codes nyc for new york john f kennedy jfk for john f kennedy airport we have different codes that we use that are unique given by ita we also have four letter meal codes as you can see on screen so we have last two letters ml and first two letters to the special kind of meal that you are having so these meal codes are used in ticketing airline ticketing we have special meals fsp ml that we can mention okay we can mention what item you want to have so that is spml for special meal we have asian vegetarian meal avml so you will be having vegetarian asian meal vegetarian asian food like you will be given different veggies different fruits different milk products but you will not given eggs and non veg so no eggs no fishes no mutton no meat no chicken okay so that is asian vegetarian meal we have baby meal for babies so code is bbml for babies baby meal we also have bland meal blml so that is bland meal so this is uh, for them who are who are the who are someone who is having vomiting nausea problems of diarrhea who maybe have undergone some stomach or intestinal surgery so these are people who are given bland meal so these are options for them these include soft foods not very spicy and low in fiber so they can uh, digest them better so if they have problems they have problems like ulcer vomiting heartburn then they can go for bland meal so the, this meal type is for them bland meal we have blml is the code for bland meal and baby meal we have bbml we have special meal for children also chml for children so it is soft and easy to chew meal child meal sometime you are given toys also along with this meal so it is chml for children chml child meal so that is easy to chew soft meal then we have diabetic meal for diabetes patient of diabetes so you will not given any cakes chocolate jams sugar syrup in this meal type we have a special meal called celebration cake meal clml clml celebration cake meal that you can have if you mention it prior if you book it in advance and you mention it in advance that you will have clml meal you maybe you will be given free cakes also so that is clml special meal for celebration cake meal that is and we have dbml for diabetic meal that you will not given any cakes chocolates etc dbml you have fruit platter meal okay so some people believe that vegan meal that is vgml vegan vegetarian also sometimes listed as vvml vegan meal or vegan vegetarian meal is not purely vegan some believe that they, it is not purely vegan they do not trust airlines that some of the products some of the items in this meal are not vegan completely vegan so they can of they can have this fruit platter meal fruit platter meal because in this meal you will be only given fruits seasonal fruits we also have raw vegetarian meal rvml so in this meal also raw vegetables are given vegetables and salads so if you do not trust vgml you can go for options like rvml and fpml that are fruit platter meal raw vegetarian meal rvml then we have gluten intolerant meal gfml gluten intolerant meal if you are intolerant to gluten then you will have gluten free meal gfml gluten intolerant meal so in this meal you will not given any wheat any products of barley and any derivations of wheat barley rye so that is gluten free meal gluten barley meal if you are on gluten free diet then you can go for gfml if you are hindu the religion if we have religious meals also in airlines we have hindu meal that is hindu non vegetarian meal okay hnml is for hindu non vegetarian meal in this meal you will be given all the non veg non veg like mutton 
you will be given uh, all fishes and poultry uh, products you will be given lamb you will be given lamb you will be given mutton you will give chicken but not beef veal or pork so you will not given beef okay beef pork you will not be given in hindu non vegetable meal beef pork and veal because it is not acceptable in hindu religion to consume beef to consume uh, pork so you will not given in hindu non vegetarian meal beef and pork so if you are follower of hindu religion you can mention that you want to have hnml if you are non vegetarian and you are follower of hinduism you can choose for hnml we have other religious meals also like moml for muslim meal in this meal you will not given alcohol so you will not be served alcohol and uh, pork also so that is muslim meal we also have kosher meal for jewish so uh, so people jewish people only eat only consume kosher meal that is acceptable of kosher uh, style then we have kosher meal for jewish people ksml we also have jain meal vjml our jain friends also do not consume vegetables that are found in root, root vegetables basically like onion like we have uh, garlic we have ginger so these are root vegetables that jain friends do not consume so for them we have vjml so these are religious meals vjml moml muslim meal ksml kosher meal hnml hindu meal so these are religious meals we also have low calorie low fat low sodium low protein meal okay lcml low calories so this meal will be low in calorie low fat so products high in fat will be avoided in this meal we have low sodium meal if you are a patient of hypertension high bp high blood pressure that is then you can go for low salt meal that is low sodium meal we have low protein meal if you are protein intolerant or you are on a special diet then you can go for low protein meal also okay so these are low in calories low in fiber low in fat low in sodium low in fiber we had uh, we had this gluten free meal we had low calorie meal low fat meal low sodium meal okay then we have non lactose meal okay so in this meal type you will not given anything that is uh, lactose based products okay so that is nlml meal non lactose meal so that is lactose free you will not given milk you will not given dairy products like yogurt cheese butter okay so that is nml nlml we also have low fat meal as i discussed we have different low fat low sodium low calorie meals okay so that are low in various products then we have seafood meal in this type of meal you will be only served seafood sea products fishes okay so that are seafood meal we have vegan meal already discussed vegan vegetarian meal vegan jan vegetarian jan meal then we have vegetarian lacto ovo meal okay so in this meal you will be given vegetarian all the veggies all the vegetable products and also uh, also all the milk products yogurt ghee milk ice cream so you will given in vegetarian lacto ovo meal all the lacto products and all the vegetables but in non lactose meal you will not given the milk products and milk we have vegeta vegetarian oriental meal so it is chinese style meal you will be given oriental style meal vegetarian oriental meal we also have oriental meal orml okay so in this meal type you will be served all oriental style vegetables with lot of spices you will be served beef and pork also in this meal beef and pork also will be served in orml that is oriental meal and we have vegetarian oriental meal in which non veg is not served okay but oriental style of food is served in both the meals voml and orml we have also non no beef meal that is served in chinese airlines no beef meal mbml okay so these are various airline meal codes that you should know okay orml is for oriental meal where beef and pork is served but nbml is where beef is not served and vegetarian oriental meal is only vegetable only the vegetarian food is served so these are different uh, meal i hope you understand meal codes you learn and these are often asked in ugc net examination sometime code is asked sometime um, there's 
other questions related to meals okay like what what this meal type contains what this meal type does not contain so that these are different questions that are often asked in ugc net examination you should know and these are different meal codes i hope you like the video i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something keep watching our videos keep supporting us have a great day